Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new actor groups with iClone 8.4. Actor groups are a new type of content that allows for quick placement of actors in your scene with natural motions, making it easier to simulate interactions between actors in your scene. Let's look at a simple usage case first. You'll find the actor group content under Free Resources. Once downloaded, you'll see them categorized into two groups, Preset and Random. Let's start with the preset type. If I click and drag it into the viewport, you'll see two actors populate the scene loaded with simple interaction motions, including facial animation. In the preset dropdown, you'll find a number of combinations of actors and motions. Be aware that the positioning of the actors is predetermined, ensuring that regardless of the chosen combination, the actors' expressions and actions will align properly. Click on Randomize after each selection to bring up some random actors based on the preset you chose. For random actor groups, there is no interaction between the actors, and the actors, motions, and orientation are all random. You'll also notice that there are no presets available when you use a random actor group type. However, you will find an option to choose actor groups with more than two actors. You'll find groups for various scenarios such as lineups and randomly waiting around. The Social Actions Pack in the Content Store contains a bunch more actor groups that you can use to add more variety to your crowd simulations. You'll find motions and presets for all sorts of different scenarios. Okay, next let's look at Randomize Settings. If you select Randomize Actors under Actor Settings, a random selection of Actor Core Actors will be chosen from this folder. You can hit Randomize as many times as you want to get the combination of actors that you'd like. You also have the option to source from all available Actor Core characters, which will expand the potential library to all Actor Core type characters in your collection. You can find a huge collection of Actor Core characters on the Actor Core page, and they are all compatible with the Actor Group's content type. If you like the actors but want to mix up the outfits, simply enable Material Only. This will keep the actors you currently have, but assign random materials from the relevant library in your Content Manager. You can see the collection of available materials under Media. Further down in the Randomize Actor Group window, you'll see that there are two types of loops to choose from. If you select Repetition, the motion will continue to loop for the specified number of frames. Notice that when this is chosen, that the actors have facial animations. If you choose Continuous, the actors will not have facial expressions, however this can reduce resource consumption for better performance. This is suitable for background crowds where detailed facial expressions are not as important. You can see all of the animations available under the Actor Group Pack. Notice that the motions under Preset are interactions involving two characters. Randomize Starting Frames is another important option to enable, as it ensures that each actor will perform their assigned motions at random times to avoid a completely synchronized performance by both, which would look super weird. You can also choose Randomize Motion as well, which will apply random motions from the relevant folder. Actor groups also include accessories, which are categorized based on groups like left hand and right hand, gender, and more. When applied, accessories will be automatically assigned to appropriate actors based on those categories. Lastly, let's look at some other minor functionality for actor groups. In addition to randomly generating the actors, you can also manually replace the ones generated by the actor group with your preferred choice. Simply click and drag the relevant actor core characters from the content manager to the existing one until a yellow selection box appears. This will keep the assigned motion, but replace the actor, and take said actor into edit mode. Edit mode requires more resources, so it's always good practice to convert your character back to light mode before simulating. In the scene manager, you'll see a new item called avatar group, and under that you'll see your actors along with a box dummy. This box is used to ensure that if you are using something like a nav mesh for external characters, that they will not walk within the area defined by the box. 
You can learn more about nav meshes in the dedicated tutorial. Actor groups are a quick and innovative new way to populate your scene with natural looking interactions in no time at all. The Social Actions Pack is a great way to get an extensive collection of new actor group templates to further enhance the visuals of your project without needing to spend hours on individual animations. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new feature with iClone 8.4 and I'll see you in the next one.